So there's a couple of keyboard shortcuts that I want you to learn when using the brush tool. B for brush, you don't really need to worry about. Uh, clone stamp, the stamp tool as I've been calling it, is S. So S for the clone stamp. Uh, J is the healing brush, and I'll show you the healing brush when we get into beauty retouching. It is a totally cool thing. It automates a lot of the things with the clone stamp. It makes everything amazing. Um, Alt is in order to st sample, so the place that you're copying from. And the two things that I haven't shown you yet are the right bracket and the left bracket. So to show you what I mean right here, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to go to my brush tool. So here's my brush tool right here. And if I want to increase on the top right side of the keyboard, if I press the square bracket key, I can increase the size of the brush. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And if I press the left square bracket key, I can decrease the side of the brush. Now there's one other thing you can do with this. If you hold down shift and then press the right square bracket key, key it increases the hardness. And if you hold down shift and decrease the left square bracket key, it decreases the hardness. So you can also right click and do this uh, this way as well, but that takes longer, so don't do it that way. This way is better. I just showed you a better way to do it, so do it this better way. So three keyboard shortcuts that I really want you to remember. Um, S for the clone stamp, Alt to sample, and the square bracket keys to change things. So those are the three big keyboard shortcuts for working with the stamp tool and really any brushes at all. Let's move on to the next image.